Okay guys, this is update number 11 on the off-road lawnmower. And I was just, actually just two minutes ago, I was in the mud hole and my rear end split, well it didn't split, but it doesn't have posi anymore. It's got the differential, it's easier to steer and everything. And yeah, now what we've got to do is going to take it apart and weld that back together stronger this time. I gotta try not to roll it or drive it at all because there's probably broken pieces of metal in there. Um, other things is that I've done to this um, is I redid the exhaust, cut a hole right there. The exhaust just pokes out, um, just because it wasn't the right flange going under the motor, and it was uh, just it was all messed up. So I had to change it. I don't want to get in depth with it, but. To go over to my neighbor, I didn't have a hole saw, so he drilled the hole. Looks pretty good. Um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's all I did to it. Oh, yeah. And there's actually a problem with this, a running issue. Um, we reloaded, we put a different gas tank on here and it's higher up because we thought that the other one it didn't have enough um, gravity to bring the fuel up to the carburetor right here so we put in a newer gas tank but it does not idle and this is the carburetor is like it's really clean so I don't know what's going on it doesn't idle um, it's we thought at first we thought it was a gas issue but if it if it doesn't idle and then as soon as you rev it up it shuts down, that's not a gas issue. If it was a gas issue, it would idle, and if you try to rev it up, it would shut down. So, yeah, we have to do something about that. That'll be on this update. Um, yeah, we're gonna power wash this thing off and, and see what happened to the tranny. So to keep this video short, I just did a lot of stuff. Does it look a little different? Yeah, it's pretty much tore down to the frame, besides the um, steering and the front spindles and the clutch and all that. Uh, the transmission is apart, and yeah, here's the carnage. It's broken. When he, when my uh, uncle welded welded it for me, um, I didn't have a welder then. He only welded. Like right there, right there, and there, and there, all the way around. And yeah, well, that didn't hold up very well. So, and another thing I want to say is last time I took um, my transaxle apart, I actually took it apart because I thought that was one of the problems. I don't know if you guys remember that this thing wouldn't drive, I thought it was a transmission. Well, you can see, when I put it back together, I forgot to put RTV sealant on it. And look at all that water in there. It's all milky. That, that, was, that was brand new gear oil when I put it in there, but... Yeah. Still all over all that stuff. Yeah, I'll remember to put RTV on this time. And Sparky's just rubbing up against me right now. And so, got it all put back together. The new oil and stuff in the bottom. See, it's locked. I welded all that right in there. Pretty hard to see. <laughs> oh, God, Hunter. Yeah, Hunter's here with me. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, it's all put back together. Um, we gotta put sealant on it. And then put the top cover on. The frame is all cleaned up here and painted with a satin. Uh, we decided that we want to paint the body um, a flat black, uh, which would look kind of cool because gloss is just going to fade away with the mud and everything like that. Um, painting the tires, flat black, rims. This is all put back together. 
We had the motor sitting up here, and we took the carburetor off. I remember we said it wasn't running right. Um, they got all the carburetor parts sitting in there. The float bowl was just gunked up like crazy. And yeah, hopefully when we soak that through, hopefully it'll run right now. Yep, there's a better look at our custom exhaust. Right there, it's just simple, just a straight pipe that just, I had to make my own flange because I lost one of the flange, the actual flange that fits this motor. And that just comes out a straight pipe and just a little muffler on the end. It's pretty late, you can see there. So we are going to go inside and go to bed. Get up in the morning and work on this. Alright, so we're back out here this morning and Hunter's uh, putting a flat black over the primer. Um, see the primer's all dry and all that. And the tires, which have turned out pretty good, look pretty nice, flat black. Gas tank is painted red and the gas cap is painted flat black. Yeah, and we let the carburetor parts sit in gasoline overnight just to make sure that everything's all flushed out and cleaned up. We've been cleaning up the engine too, just to make it look nice. There's a bunch of gunk in here and all up in here, so we cleaned that all up. Looks a lot nicer now. Just cleaning this. Now we got the motor all put back together, the carburetor and everything is all back on there. Transaxle's on, belt's on, uh, steering is on, the console is just got painted, it's sitting there drying over there. And we made some steering stops right there so it doesn't turn too sharp and the wheel just like turns completely sideways. Um, yeah, we put a guard on the motor. It's actually from a different. It's actually from the V-twin. Um, see, we got the rims all painted, flat black. Now we just painted the key red, so it'll look pretty cool in the black console. This thing is almost ready. We just need to put the console on, the rear fenders, and the hood and wired up this thing will run again and I'll go over and show you the hood here's the hood got a red pinstripe down it and over here it doesn't go all the way down but in the fenders kept that little plate that goes on there that shows you what gear you're in painted that red and the screws we kept black so it looks pretty cool. Like I said, the console's drying over there. Um, I even put a coat of paint, like a thick coat of paint, over the solenoid so it's a little waterproofed. Yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to get all this stuff put back on, and then we'll take it for a test drive.